Okay, today we're going to take a look at the, uh, the lowly cartridge fuse. Uh, here are three different cartridge fuses. Uh, the two on the bottom are usually max out at about 30 amps. Those can be up to 30 amps. I don't see any higher than that generally. If we go over 30, we got the one that's on the top. Yeah, it fits in a different uh, bracket than the small ones do. Okay, this one is a 30 amp HACR30. The HACR was developed specifically for the air conditioning industry. Uh, these are dual element fuses or we can call them slow blows uh, whatever you want. They are different than the single element fuse. A single element fuse is not suitable for air conditioning applications. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, here we have the uh, dual element fuse tore apart. Now that means there's two elements in this fuse. The first thing a fuse must do is protect the circuit. Uh, if there's an overload, everything's got a fuse in it. And it has to have something we call it circuit protection to protect the circuit from overload so we put something in there that's weaker than the rest of the stuff okay this one here has got a little solder joint right there now that's the slow blow part of this thing uh, slow blow is used for motor loads because motors usually take quite a bit more amperage to start than they do to run and so if I had a load that was say a 25 amp load I may draw 75 amps when it goes to start because the motor is trying to get up to speed so we need a fuse that won't give up the ghost right off the bat so this is a slow blow it takes a little while for this solder to melt and break the connection and usually by the time it heats up enough to break the connection the motor has already started uh, so that's a slow blow part. It also has to have a protection like this right here. See that holes drilled in that little copper piece. When there's a high draw, high power draw, real high, meaning maybe two or three hundred amps, this thing will immediately melt and protect the circuit. So there's two elements. This one here for catastrophic overload. This one here if I had a continuous overload. Let's say I had a motor that wouldn't start and it kept drawing 75 amps and this is a say 25 amp fuse well if it continues to draw that much power then this will break and protect the circuit but if it only draws it for a short time it will not blow that is compared to what we call the non fuse which is just a single element fuse these are dual elements meaning this one here and this one over here more on fuses coming.